Oh my goodness. Can you guys see all my... <laughs> What's poppin' everybody? Today I'm back and I'm decided. I'm decided. <laughs> Great. I decided today that I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me using a different palette. I'm going to be using the James Charles Morphe collab. And you guys can see this if I can open it. Why am I out of bread? <laughs> I'm so out of shape. This is not okay. I'm be doing something with this. I really want to do like a little purple look with like this sparkly purple. I'm going for today. We'll see how it works out. I really like my ideas never really work out the way that I planned. So we're gonna see. Hopefully this comes together fine and I don't look like a hot mess. But yeah. I wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me because I feel like I haven't filmed in a while. I have like a lot of videos that I need to edit and everything. I feel like I just haven't sat in front of a camera to do this. I was gonna do a um a playlist video but um i still need to learn the songs a little bit more so that should be coming soon okay um let's see what i should talk about i'll start off with vlogmas because i know a lot of you guys are coming for me about that you know i realized that i'm not <laughs> active enough to be doing vlogmas people are gonna be like well like we'll watch you doing anything but i was like no you really won't because it's boring trust me like i wouldn't even watch that like i do not want to watch myself sit in my room and sleep for five minutes like it just it's unnecessary like we don't need that we need like good content you know and, like when i actually leave my house the last vlogmas that i uploaded with my friend karen in it <clears throat> That one I actually liked. I don't really like a lot of the videos that I post, but that one I like the way it came out. And I think you guys did too because it did better than most of my other vlogs. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing more like that, like, but like all the time, not just like in December when I commit to doing something every day. Maybe like next year I'll be better at that, but I just want to do like more vlogs in general just to get like more comfortable with everything. You also have to understand that like I'm not a super outgoing person who likes to draw a bunch of attention to myself it's, it's not me to go walk out in front of a camera like everywhere i go like i guess it is now because youtube it's my life i guess but um you have to like gradually get into that but i am getting better so that that's what's up i guess i just got back today from rolling loud i went to rolling loud la Duh, that's the one that just happened. And I am dead. Like, I'm pooped. I'm out. I'm finished. I'm finito. That really, you know, really fucked me up. Like, I'm sore everywhere. This was my very first, like, music festival experience. I've never been to any type of festival. I've been to a couple concerts. Uh, and then I snuck into Hard Summer. I only snuck in for Travis Scott and then dipped because I'm not really like into EDM and stuff like that. Sorry, I need to focus while I do this. I'm gonna do one eye first and then I'll come back and talk to you guys because I really want to like focus and actually make this look decent. So I've never used this palette before, so this is my very first time trying it out. I wanted to try it out like when I had more time and I am gonna do like a more in depth video with this. I have an idea for what kind of look I want to do. But I just like need to sit down and like actually film it because a lot of like the makeup idea looks that I have I don't feel comfortable like wearing them out like I don't really do crazy looks to go out in but I do want to start so we will see I don't know if it's the lighting that's making this look bad or if it's actually bad I really like I don't know okay not the lighting it was actually bad but I fixed it <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys what I was doing with the colors because in my chit chat get ready with me's I never really talk about like the process of the look that I'm doing but it's always really simple like I can't really do like nice looks while I'm talking just because my brain <laughs> fried so that's a little bit that's a stretch for me i started off with this shade right here and then i mixed it with this one and then i put this one on my lid and then i'm gonna put this one on my inner corner 
I think. Okay, so I'll talk about Rolling Loud. Um, this was my very first festival, as I've said, like, 20 times. Oh, I got my braids done for Rolling Loud, but I think I'm going to keep them in for a little bit longer. Pretty much I'm going to keep them in for as long as I can without my head, like, itching. Because I really, like, I don't like my hair at all. What am I talking about? I was talking about Rolling Loud, and I'm talking about my hair. Back to Rolling Loud. So it started Friday, uh, the 14th, and then ended yesterday, the Saturday, the Saturday the 15th which is a saturday friday was pretty dope we got there kind of late to be honest we missed one take j easy chike and a couple other people i think we missed but um we got there at the same time that pmb rock was playing and um not playing <laughs> performing we got there when pmb rock started performing so we went to go see him and then we seen shoreline oh and then we seen gunna and little baby those were probably like my two sets that i was looking forward to the most besides young thug king gunna and little baby for sure i really wanted to see live i was like really inspired by all the lights and like um the performances and everything like the visuals just like i don't know i feel like a lot of people don't give artists enough credit i think really it's a lot of like thought that goes into it like to make your set your own everything like that so that's what inspired me a little bit i seen like a lot of the colors and i was like damn like i really need to step up like i really need a boss up you know so i feel good <laughs> Is the moral of the story who else who was after let me look at the lineup and then it'll spark my memory because right now i'm <sighs> spacing well, this is what i wore i don't know if you guys can see it but i wore like a pink dress i think that one is super cute honestly like i hadn't tried it on i got it from honey bum a minute ago i was supposed to wear like this hidden colt like neon set but i didn't know that it ships from sweden and i didn't know that it was gonna take like over a month to get here they should put like some type of warning or something but i really thought like i was gonna get it in like two day postal service or at least like seven business days you know like that's not that bad but i literally ordered it like on black friday which was in november and we are in the second week of december so you know <laughs> if any of you guys were thinking about ordering from there order now and hopefully you can get it within like the next six months oh and then i wore like my custom um pink air force ones they got ruined <laughs> But it's cool, I can make another one. That's what it's like being talented. Um, no, I'm kidding. But, actually not kidding. Who was, who was headlining better? I think it was Post Malone and someone else. One thing that I really didn't like about Rolling Loud is that they had a lot of the big artists that people would want to see playing at the same time. So it's just like... Oh, I didn't see Juice World, which I really wanted to see because I wanted to see Lucid Dreams live. I have a feeling I would have started crying, but I was down. Like, that's really what I wanted to experience. Oh, I seen Trippy Red. I forgot about that because I didn't record it. I Actually, maybe I did. I don't know. I have to look through all the footage. Um, I seen Trippy Red, 21 Savage, and then we just stayed for Lil Wayne. To be honest, I don't really listen to Lil Wayne like that. Like, um... I'm not even gonna front, like, I'm not a Lil Wayne stan. Like, if you ask me to name, like, three of his songs, I literally know, like, Mrs. Officer. Maybe on a Drake. Other than that, like, I'm not, I'm not a stan. But he gave a good show, to be honest. Um, like, his visuals are dope, and he, uh, he just seems like a good person. You know, that's what I got from that show. <laughs> I think I'm chilling. I look like I have pink eyes. And then Saturday uh, was a little bit better. We got there a little bit earlier um, to see Jay Critch. We didn't see Blueface. Um, I went with VIP. I originally had general admission, but then I upgraded to VIP just because my friends had upgraded. So I was like, fuck it, like, what am I gonna be doing in general admission? And honestly, I'm super, super glad that I did because it was packed. Like, I don't know what they did. I think they over like sold it or something. But there were like people, like 50,000 people. And I just remember walking through the exit, like Post Malone set, and just like crowds, like all the way to the exit. I was like, bro, you couldn't even see Post Malone, like at that point. Like you were literally watching him through a screen. I was like, you can watch that on live stream. Someone was probably going live or something. Like and then, um, oh, day two of Rolling Loud, back to that. Uh, it was dope. We seen Jay Critch. I seen a little bit of Kelly, who was dope. Flip De Nero perform like the one song that everyone knows. <laughs> I missed Rico Nasty. Very sad about that. 
Seen a little bit of Young Pinch. Seen his hair. Seen Sweetie. Inspired. Oh, Little Skies had a really good show. I was like about to cry, you guys. Like I was just, I was just feeling it like heavy. I started playing Mac Miller's songs and I was just like, fuck, like. I think Little Skies was probably one of my favorite performances just because his visuals and like the flames and everything like it was just a really good performance and he had a lot of energy and everything like he wasn't just he just performs well live if you guys go to concerts and stuff you know what I'm talking about like some artists will just kind of like walk around and like you know but he was like in really into it like you could tell that that's what he wanted to do I seen SOB they were good in person too like they were pretty hype and then um, and then who did we see oh we seen little mosey um seeing rich the kid do plug walk for a little bit i didn't see his whole set i seen the video on twitter where he brought out a little boy dancing i didn't see that but i wish i did and then i think we went to go see cardi to be honest i didn't really like care for cardi's set too much <laughs> that's just because i'm not like a mosh pitter i don't like that that's not thing like i do you guys cannot see me in a mosh pit like i'm um i'm an angry gal you know you know i'm about it but i just don't want to be in a big group of people like all body slamming each other sorry kill me shoot me but that's just <laughs> not my thing we've seen a little bit of kodak that fool is so ugly you guys like i don't really like listen to him like that like i'm not a stan like he wasn't a person that i really wanted to see on the lineup but i do like some of his songs and i know people are gonna come for me saying like oh my gosh how could you support that but i know it's not right sorry after kodak i wanted to see young thug really bad just because i love young thug and then i seen him and it was amazing after him little lucy came out i've already seen little lucy before and um he gave a really good show when i seen him at the where was it the shrine yeah i went to the shrine and it was good i liked it but again mosh pits and i was like dying so i was like bro like i cannot do this so we went all the way back i wasn't really tripping though because like since you're in vip even if you're in the back of vip you still get like a pretty solid view so yeah and then we left during uzi's set just because it was kind of over you know but yeah. and then we went to go see cardi b we got there right after we got there right after the whole thing with offset I just felt bad for her but um you know it is what it is yeah, that was it for Saturday. Um, we didn't go to like any after parties or anything. We wanted to go to the shoreline after party, but I don't know where we didn't go. I think we were tired, <laughs> something like that. But yeah. So overall, rolling loud for me was I think it, it was as good as like your first experience can really be, just because I didn't really know like okay, I want to cut this, but I don't know if it's my real hair. Fuck it. I don't know. Nah, I'm not gonna cut it. I really need to start taking care of my hair, you guys. Like, I'm gonna get K-Tip extensions with hair by Maribel. Hopefully by the end of the year, because I love having long hair, like I feel. Popping as fuck. And then I want to get my lips done this month, too. And I know people are gonna be like, oh my god, like, don't do it. But my mind is made up. That's it. <laughs> I don't need to explain why I do anything I do to anybody my mom even then i really I, I don't so anyway my overall experience with rolling loud was it was dope would i go again yeah i think i would i want to do rolling loud miami and i think i'm going to so if any guys are in miami hit me up we can link up i met a couple of you guys at uh, rolling loud la la uh which was fun i don't know if i should put this on my inner corner or not yes i am so i think comment down let me know what you guys like seeing from me because some people are here for my playlist videos and that only some people are here for my bad gal talks and that only and some people are just here for it for me so let me know what you guys like and please don't comment i like whatever you do i'm actually <laughs> which is nice thank you but i am looking for like genuine answers on like what videos i should do more of i want long hair so bad or should i just keep braids in all the time no i'm gonna get extensions like it and if i don't like them i take them out like it's really not that deep i really don't think anything is that deep just because life goes on 
and I'm not talking about like um, you know hair makeup stuff like that like it's just just not that deep take it whatever way you want apply it to any situation that you want it is not that deep um what do I have planned for the next couple weeks lots this week I'm gonna really get on it just because I'm on winter break now so I can you know really just go ham with the videos yeah I am also working on my clothing line that should be dropping hopefully by the end of this year I really want to get some stuff out there even if it's not like a full collection I think I'm done I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and my mascara when I say do my eyebrows I just mean gel them down I really did that. Um, let me curl my lashes now so I don't look like a sad puppy. Mm. Okay. Put on earrings so that I don't look broke. All right, you guys. So that was pretty much it for my. Did I get makeup on this? Tell me I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> that was pretty much it for my chit chat. Get ready with me. That was a little bit about my whole rolling out experience. Couple things that have. I need to take this off. I'm not that weirdo that keeps it on forever. That was my whole rolling out experience, what I thought about it, and a couple things that have been going on, and pretty much what I've been up to. So yeah. So let me know whatever you guys want me to do, any video requests, anything like that. As always, you can comment them down below or DM me them, whatever. Whatever you feel like doing, go ahead and do that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.